Previously on Fully Charged. We met Mark who showed us efficient car sharing schemes. We infiltrated the government to talk to Silke about Germany's energy policy. And drove 200 kilometers for Sylvia to show us how Germany's renewables capability dwarfs the Brits. And now we've returned to Berlin for the final time to explore a house that creates more energy than it uses. So, I'm in your kitchen of yes. your beautiful house. It is really nice. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> so, I, I, so, explain to me what's going on here, because this is a very different house to most houses. Yeah, it's a very um, efficient house. That means that we have um, um, very tight walls and um, we don't need to heat that much. We have uh, solar panels on the roof and on the side of the house. That means that, um, we're producing around 16 thousand kilowatt hours in a year we just um, may use uh, around about four or five thousand yeah. and we have two cars in front of the house they um, that are charged by the electricity power from the house from solar power at the end of um, around the year um, the house will produce more energy than we need and the cars need and we can uh, feed the so net. The, the house has been built like as an experiment then in, in, in Berlin? Right, it's an experiment uh, for three years and uh, we live here for 15 months and uh, the rest of the time is uh, open for public. Presumably you can also measure how much energy you make, how much you use, is that all being locked? Yeah, everything is locked by temperature, CO2 and um, temper uh, and I don't know, whatever, uh, yeah. And uh, but we don't see this. Right. Uh, you, we we could we can we could control everything, but um, this is very technical. Yeah. <laughs> really, the experiment is you live here normally, and then yeah. at the end, people can see this is how much we yeah. use. And you can see on the internet there is a um, homepage where you can see our demand and our um, actual uh, energy use. Energy oh, use. Right. Right. And in the house you you normally live in your your normal house, uh, uh, do you, have you got uh, energy efficient systems built in or solar yeah, panels well, or all? Mm -hmm. We try to use very low energy uh, before um, because of two reasons. It's expensive to spend <laughs> energy and it's uh, not sustainable. Mm -hmm. So we try to uh, figure out how to live um, with very small uh, heating bills mm -hmm. and um, power bills. And at the end, we use here more energy than we did before. So I want to know how you ended up living here then. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that was a uh, competition and the Minister of uh, Traffic and um, Building, um, he chose us uh, from, from a bowl. Oh, I see, and really? It was that random? Never, was random. Yeah, 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 it was random. All right. So the walls are very well insulated. The win your it's windows, I can see, and doors are very Yeah, we have solid. three uh, layers in yeah. the windows, and we have um, hemp in, in the walls for isolation. How do you heat the house, then, in the winter? Okay. How would you make it warm? Mm -hmm. It's all uh, with electricity. Um, we use our solar power for, uh, to heat um, water. And um, the, this water runs through the um, through the floor under the through floor. the floor. Right. Yeah. So if you have a shower here, mm -hmm. has the water that you're having a shower with has that been through the system here? Is it all in one system? Yeah, it's all in one system. Right. Mm -hmm. that's, that's we have uh, 230 liters um, um, in the tank. In the, in a yeah. tank, yeah, and um, this is heated by the solar power. Right. But we have another feature, we have a big, big battery. Oh, you do? So the yeah. house has its own battery? Yeah, too. it has uh, its own battery. It's uh, standing outside because of um, um, emergency mm -hmm. things. And uh, it has 40 kilowatt hour storage wow. capacity. Right. And um, so we can uh, run the house for several days without light or right. sun. The idea of the house is that we don't need to control that much, that um, we just tell the house once uh, what we need and then uh, everything goes automatically. So is it possible to have a look at how you control the, the house? For sure. Okay. For, for example, we can tell the system, please um, make the scene morning. Right, so that was. So oh, we see. tell the system, these lights so go these lights on, go on and, off. and the blinds go down and so on. And um, to teach the system which scene means what, right. that was a little bit difficult. Right. And, uh, this and so is that will do it at a certain a time. Yeah. I mean, once you've got that set up, you would actually learn 
to adjust it and make it work yeah. fairly easily. It's not sensing your presence and, and lights coming on in rooms. Does it, yeah, yeah, that, it does. It, it does. does. We have we have um, um, the sensors up sensor, there. Yeah, right. For example, in the in the toilet, it's good to have these. Um, how did did, they, did you call them these well, uh, um, sensors? Those are the, sensors. As you move, sensors. as you go in, yeah, yeah. they come up. The light comes. Yeah, on. it's very intuitive. Right. Okay, now I'm going to show you the technical room, right, which is here. Okay, we have some uh, features here. We have, um, um, for example, I don't know the English word. Oh, um, in, 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 uh, inverter. Inverter, inverter yes. right. Uh, from, from the solar panels. For, this yeah. is for the solar panels on the roof. Right. And these three the, are for, the, for the solar panels from the wall. And we can see how many energy we uh, produce today. Yeah. It's, 30 um, kilowatt hours from the roof. on the roof. And it's not been a sunny day. Oh. Wow, that is amazing. Yeah. Here we have the um, air heat exchanger. Right. That means the um, outgoing air is warming the uh, incoming, incoming air. air. Right. And you don't lose that much energy. Right. Mm -hmm. Air heat pump. We call it a right. heat exchange. They heat exchange. Heat exchange. Right. It's taking the heat out, <laughs> of, the out of the air outside. Yeah, right, right, right. Putting it into the house. Right. Yeah. I, I heard that if you heat air with electricity, yeah. you need three kilowatt hours to uh, electricity to heat one kilowatt hour uh, of uh, heat. Yeah. And with this system, it's the other way around. Right. You just need one kilowatt hour electricity, of electricity to, to produce heat. to produce three, three kilowatts of heat. Yeah, right. right. So that's, so that's, that's much more efficient. Very much right? more efficient. Yeah. Right. So here's a little fact to end up with. In 2010, the UK could produce on a beautiful, hot, sunny day in midsummer 74,000 kilowatts from solar electricity. In Germany, on the same beautiful, hot, sunny summer day, they can produce 17 million kilowatts. So we have to accept that Germany is a little bit more advanced than us. And it's probably the reason that people are coming all, from all over the world to see things like this incredible house in the middle of Berlin. This house is just extraordinary. It produces more energy than it uses. It even produces enough energy to charge these cars and the really cool electric bike. So it's been fantastic being in here in Germany, even though the weather is very, very familiar and extremely moist. Stay tuned for funny little electric cars that drive themselves. <laughs>